We're continuing on through section one with our freehand stroke. Okay, short, quick strokes. Make sure you really stretch that skin out good. The harder you stretch the skin, the closer the shave you're going to get. Pressure has nothing to do with it. If you press too hard with the razor, all you're going to do is irritate the skin. It's the stretch that determines how close of a shave. Okay, now we're moving on to section five. We're standing behind the client and we're shaving up towards the jawline and we're going to use our reverse freehand stroke. So you want to pull the skin down either with your thumb or if the skin is slippery you can grab the towel and pull it that way. The key is this portion of the neck you only want to shave over once or twice and you have to really stretch the skin good. Make sure that razor is as flat as it can be and just very lightly glide it over the skin. And if you have to you can use the other stretch and shave it between your thumb and your forefinger. Your stretch is what's going to give you the close shave, not the pressure with the razor. Okay, so now we're working through section six. And as on the other side, this tends to be one of the thickest portions of the beard, so if you want to shave lightly across the grain, we can do that. Still using your backhand stroke. Okay, now we're moving on to section 10, which we're going to finish the left side of the neck. And we're going to use our reverse freehand stroke. And the same stretch is on the other side. You want to flatten that razor out. And if you have to, that's why the razor bends the way it bends. Bend it all the way around so it doesn't get caught up on the shirt or the client's chest. And standing on the opposite side. We're going to shave up towards the jawline very lightly. And what you're doing in this portion of the neck, it's the most sensitive and it's not as dense, so you can almost see each hair as you're cutting it. 